Hi everyone! As you might know, Sparkplug 3.0 is released and Sparkplug compatibility program is part of it. So here is the question – how to become Sparkplug compatible? This video is a step-by-step -step guide on the Sparkplug compatibility program and how to become Sparkplug 3.0 certified. Let's get started! First things first, what is Sparkplug compatibility program? The Sparkplug compatibility program allows software and hardware vendors to prove compatibility and certify their products for Eclipse, Sparkplug and MQTT-based IT infrastructure. For end-users and integrators, this program is an easy way to procure software products compatible with the Sparkplug specification. To become certified, vendors' products must pass multiple open-source tests that confirm conformance to Sparkplug Technology Compatibility Kit. If a product passes the compatibility tests, the Sparkplug Working Group will add it to their website's official list of compatible products. Once licensed, vendors can market their compatibility to the outside world by using the Sparkplug compatible logo. Here is what you need to know about the Sparkplug Technology Compatibility Kit, also called TCK. A proper Sparkplug implementation requires full compatibility with the following components – Edge of Network Nodes devices, the primary application, and of course the MQTT broker. The Sparkplug Technology Compatibility Kit is available to provide guidelines and verify that all certification components comply with the Sparkplug specification. Now let's move on to the step-by-step -step guide on getting certified using TCK. Before we dive into the demo, here is an overview of the entire certification protocol. So let's start the demo. So the first step is to download the project, the Spark TCK project from GitHub, and then you can um, build um, the TCK extension. And to run the TCK extension, you need hyphen Q. The easiest way to to run um, the hyphen Q broker is using this build script here and just start run hyphen Q with extension because then automatically the community edition will be downloaded and installed and also the TCK is, is built and uh, installed as an extension and runs in your hyphen queue broker. As you can see now, um, I have started um, successful my hyphen queue broker. The broker is running now. We also see that Eclipse Spark Plug TCK is um, successful started. I have also uh, prepared the Sparkplug Aware extension because I would like to show how the Sparkplug Aware extension is working and uh, I would like to test our hyphen Q broker as a Sparkplug Aware broker. Second thing is um, that you have to start uh, the web console, which belongs to, to the TCK, and the web console um, is an interface that allows you to, uh, to run all the tests via uh, UI. The web console looks, um, as you can see, is started, and uh, then you have access via localhost port 3000. And this is how the web console looks like. The first thing, or the first step that have to be done um, is that you have to connect to our um, MQTT broker, which is hyphenq, running on localhost. And uh, for this, you need uh, the configuration of WebSockets. And you can use here some standard settings and then connect. And then, as you can see here now, the connection is established. Our web console is connected to our uh, hyphen Q broker. Here we have um, the second um, tab is the tab for the profiles where you can decide what do you want to test. Um, if you would like to test a um, host application, then you can choose this radio button. And here you see the list of tests that are available for the host applications. If you would like to test software or edge nodes, you have to switch to the edge node profile. And here you can find all the edge node tests. You can show and hide each test and um, Within one test, you see here the instructions that you have to follow to run the tests and the description, and here the parameters that are necessary. 
In our case, we would like to run the broker test because we would like to test our hyphen Q broker. And here we have two tests. One test is the spark plug compliant test and one test is the spark plug aware test. The compliant test is just testing the broker without any um, spark plug devices if the broker uh, fulfills all the requirements that are necessary for a spark plug, uh, spark plug compliant. I can um, here add here my uh, address for my um, broker. And here we are using um, the MQTT connection via 1883 and localhost because it's running on my localhost. And then I can start the test. Yeah, you can see um, the test was uh, successful. And here you again see what requirements are tested. So we have the requirements that uh, the broker um, supports uh, QoS0 and QoS1 and retain messages and the feature of the last will and testament messages. When we look to our hyphen Q broker, you can see that we have there the TCK uh, results collector connected and the web console to collect the, the data. And here you see there's often obviously um, something happened during our test. And in the web console, you see now also here the result log and here an overview of the result log. So for the second test, the SparkPlug aware test, we have to run um, some um, SparkPlug devices and um, have to add some parameters. And then we can start the test. And for this, we have also to run a simulation of um, edge nodes. I'm doing this here with our hyphen Q swarm and the spark plug payload generator that uh, generates um, spark plug payload. So now you see we have some more connections and some clients that are simulating the spark plug payload. And now our test is all, uh, also executed and was also successful. The last thing that you have to do when you would like to get listed is, um, as you can see, we have now here um, spark plug TCK result log that shows us um, the results in in a log format and this result log has to be um, configured or, or transformed to a summary in html format and this summary has then uh, is necessary to send over to the to the spark plug group and we do this with this um, reporting um, python script And now we created the summary, as you can see here, and the summary is necessary for the get listed um, request. Now the setup is complete. With the TCK application and the SparkPlug Aware HiveMQ broker, all required tools for further host application and edge node tests are ready to continue with the SparkPlug 3.0 certification of hardware and software. Check out HiveMQ SparkPlug solution page to accelerate your industrial IoT journey. If you would like to learn more about the updates in SparkPlug 3.0, we have a separate video, it's linked here. Thanks for tuning in, see you in the next video.